To the queen of my heart, I need you to wear a solid smile when this gets to you. Do you remember our first kiss? It was under the tree. When you smiled for no just cause with your eyes firmly glued to the earth. Like I was picking from somewhere in the dust. Your silly proud self could not admit that you wished to kiss me so bad. Thankful I braced up and initiated the move. It was under this very tree that your mom caught us one night with your lips firmly wrapped in mine. And you still had the guts to tell her that you were trying to get a bone off my throat. <laughs> Guy, I fear you. We've made history under this tree. I'm sure if it had hands, it could have given us brainstorming knocks on our heads. When I first cry, Pasha, <laughs> send my regards to your brother John, even though he never did like me. How about the Yalakara? Does she still sell at the usual spots? I should reduce the quantity of pepper she had in Akara. That woman be nearly slim fit my tongue. <laughs> but I'll still eat it though, if given a chance. Pardon my insolence of late. I didn't mean to ghost you. I've actually been running. Running from my fears, my demons, from myself. I hope you understand that all I did were acts of love. I've actually been living with leukemia. It can't solve the blood. And the doctor told me that I might die in six months. I doubted him at first because all seemed well with me. But now even you can affirm that the doctor's predictions were true. Because by the time this note gets to you, I'll be lying with my left hand on top of the right, buried six feet beneath this tree. Yeah, you'll be standing on my grave. Please, when you get married, name your kids the names we promise to name our children. And always remember that I'll be carrying a piece of you in me, always. Your mumu button, a ease.